Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sosetta. We begin with meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke and that forecast. Good afternoon. Still feeling like winter out, and we're still talking about the snow spot snow up in our northern mountains. And then we're looking at rain and snow mixing for the northeast, east central plains. And that's going to continue to be on and off, actually moving slowly to the south as we head through this afternoon, and then gradually clearing out as we head into the evening hours. So, partly to mostly cloudy skies across uh, much of the state today with lingering spotty rain and snow through the afternoon. Then tonight, things start to clear out. It will be chilly, though. Many of you getting down to the freezing mark. And even below that, as far south as uh, Roswell getting down to the freezing mark. So certainly bring those plants in, the pets too. And then once we get through tomorrow morning, we're going to see more sunshine. And we're going to get into a warming trend. Watch the temperatures go up as we head through the week. Mid-50s today, upper 60s tomorrow. 70s by Wednesday. And then we wrap up the work week with highs in the 80s. And it sticks around through the weekend. Thank you, Kristen. President Obama called this a good day for America, the death of America's most wanted man, Osama bin Laden. The Pentagon says that DNA testing confirms that U.S. forces shot and killed bin Laden during a raid yesterday, this at a compound in Pakistan. The al-Qaeda leader's body was then quickly buried at sea. U.S. military installations around the world, including here in New Mexico, are on heightened alert. Now stay with KRQE News 13. We'll have a full hour of national coverage on bin Laden's death from 5 to 6 this evening. Back here in New Mexico, a pre-dawn traffic stop in northwest Albuquerque caused a lot more commotion than anyone was expecting. We're told the deputy who pulled this car over near Rio Grande and Griegos this morning found the makings of a meth lab inside, but that's not all. An APD hazmat team was called in to deal with what they said was an improvised explosive device. That was later rendered safe. No word yet on any arrests. And stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a good day, everybody.